Today we're going to learn more about rubrics in Google Classroom. So right now we're looking at an assignment that is in a student's classwork tab of Google Classroom. If we scroll down on the details, we can see that there is a rubric attached. So if we click on that rubric to open it up, we can take a look at what skills are being assessed specifically on this assignment. On this rubric, we can see two skills. So here in the different colored words at the top, it says one skill is determine meaning of unknown words using context clues. And the second skill that's being looked at is key details in a text. So if we take a look underneath that skill, there's a little bit more detail that describes the skill. Same here, a little more detail describing the skill. And then we see four criteria underneath. On this rubric, we can see that there is an option to earn four points, three points, two, or one. And there's a title next to each point as well. On this particular rubric, the student's goal is to earn a three, which would mean that they are meeting the standard, meaning they have demonstrated the skill um, well and are showing their teacher and themselves that they understand how to do this skill. Same thing below on this particular skill. Underneath the points and the meets standard, it describes exactly what you would need to do in order to earn that goal of three points or meeting the standard. So if you wanna know what you need to do to show that you understand this skill, you can read it here in detail. Right? Now on this particular rubric, there's also an option to exceed the standard. That would mean that you have gone above and beyond just showing that you can do the skill and you've done some extra work along with that. So here is some more information about what it looks like if you're not just able to do the skill as you're supposed to, but you're going above and beyond. Now, what if you don't show mastery yet on that skill? So what if you haven't gotten to a three mastering the skill? Well. If you've maybe done some of the things that you're supposed to do, then you might earn two points, which is approaching the standard. Or I can do some of the things still, but maybe I can't do all of them on my own yet. Or maybe I've done some of the things well, but other things I'm confused on. So here you can see a description of what it would mean to earn a two. Now, the other option is need support. So if um, the student wasn't able to do this on the assignment. If they didn't do it at all, or if they did it wrong, they might fall here on the one point of the scale. And this would tell the student and the teacher both that this is a skill that we need some more instruction on or some more help on. Now, if this is an assignment that the teacher has already looked at, then you can click on view assignment to open it up all the way. And you can scroll down and see um, where you fell on the rubric scale for this particular assignment. So if you wanna take a look at um, why you might have earned a certain um, score so far, you can click to open this up and you can read again what the requirements were in order to show that you're meeting the standard or that you're getting close, but you haven't quite got everything yet. So in this case, it says for a two, which is what was given on this skill, the student can identify a recognizable word part, but cannot use the word part to predict the meaning of the word. So this would mean that on this particular assignment, this person probably circled clues in the word, showing what clues they saw to help try to guess meaning, but then maybe didn't include the meaning that they were guessing along with that. So that would let the student know that if you need to go back the next time and do this again, that you would make sure to circle those word parts that you used as clues, but to also make sure to include the word meaning that you're guessing. And that would then show that you've mastered it and earn a three.